Welcome to the Ruskin Revit model content demonstration of video for the Ruskin Louvre line. I am Mark Panik and I am a professional Revit model content designer. We have put this demonstration of video together to explain how the Ruskin Louvre line is to be implemented in a building information model. In order to accurately depict what the real life product is capable of, we have designed three Revit families after every one Ruskin Louvre product. We have provided building information models for the two primary users of this product, the architects and the mechanical engineers. For the architectural model placement needs, there is only one model, and this is very graphical in nature per the needs of the Revit architectural modeler and what will need to be seen in the architect's building information model. For the mechanical engineer, there are two models, one for the supply side and one for the exhaust side of the air system. This model is very light as far as graphical representation is concerned, but it has all the data behind it that is necessary for it to become a working part of the HVAC system. You can find this Revit model content on both the Ruskin website and the Autodesk Seek website, but for this demonstration I will be downloading this content from the Autodesk Seek website. First things first, I will go to the Autodesk Seek panel on the Insert tab and type in Ruskin Louvre. The Autodesk Seek website pops up automatically and then navigates to the Louvre page on Ruskin's Autodesk Seek website. I will select the architectural louver along with the supply and exhaust MEP louvers and download the zip file containing this content to the specified location on the screen. Your path may be different, but the theory is basically the same. Now that I have downloaded the louvers that I intend to use in my architectural project, I am ready to load them into my architectural project. Still on the insert tab, I will go to the load family from library panel and find my designated location. After selecting that location, I will select open and load the family into the project. In order to place the content in the view, I will need to click on the component tool on the build panel of the home tab. Since the Ruskin Louvre was the last item that was loaded, it is automatically the family of choice when I select the component tool. One note about the placement of this content, I can only place this louvre in a wall. Trying to place it elsewhere simply will not work due to the host definition of the content. Just as I pull the architectural model from the Revit manufacturer library, I will grab the MEP families from the same file path, only this time I will select the exhaust and supply family. In order to place the content in the view, I clicked on the air terminal tool on the HVAC panel of the home tab. A couple of notes about the placement of this content. I can only place these louvers on a face, unlike their architectural counterpart, due to the host definition of this content. The family is hosted to a face rather than a wall because it needs to be defined to the LinkedIn architectural model. The louver still needs to be attached to a wall, but since the wall is part of the architectural model, which has been linked into the MEP project, the walls are then reduced to faces for the sake of performance and the necessity of data transfer. Now I can align and lock my MEP louvers to my LinkedIn architectural louvers using the horizontal and vertical origins. This is done so the mechanical model always knows where the placement of the architectural model is since the mechanical model placement is dependent upon the placement of the architectural model. With the louvers being placed in the mechanical model, I can now run duct from them and make some connections to equipment downstream. Since the MEP model is linked into the architectural model, as soon as we open the architectural model, we should be able to see how the changes that were made to the MEP model affect the architectural space. At this point, there are issues where the door for the room has been placed, and we need to move this door from leasable space to non-leasable space. In doing so, we create a clearance issue with the ducts that are connecting to the lure that I have placed in the mechanical room and the door that I have just moved. So I am going to move the louver in order to make that door fit. After making this change, I'm going to save my architectural project and notify the mechanical engineer that there have been some updates to the architectural model. Then I send the mechanical engineer the updated model.
After receiving notification from the architect that there have been modifications to their model and updating the architectural model link in my mechanical project, I get an error that tells me that constraints have been removed. The warning is letting me know that some of the changes that were made in the architectural model have caused some objects in my MEP model to remove their constraints. In this case, there are only louvers that are constrained to the architectural model, so I know to check their constraints. To correct the constraint issue, I will repeat the steps that I took to constrain the family in the initial placement of this louver. Now that I have updated the mechanical model, I would like to take a look at the models in a coordinate view. What a coordinate view will allow me to do is look at the architectural and mechanical model as both of them would appear in their own project environment. So I'll start off in a 3D view in my MEP model and I will change the discipline input under the graphics parameter group of the property palette while there's nothing selected in the view. Now, as you can see, the coloring of the wall, floor, and roof materials show in the view rather than showing grade scaled as the link does by default. Now we are able to depict what the architectural louvers look like and gain the aesthetic value of the louver while we are viewing the MEP louver connected to the mechanical system. We have downloaded, loaded, and placed both architectural and mechanical louvers. We have looked at the constraints that are needed to lock the two models to each other via project linking. We have seen how the visibility of each family behave when a view's graphics are set to coordinate. If there are any questions at all regarding this process or any Revit content questions, feel free to contact any member of the ICS staff at 763-756-1240 and we will be glad to help you out. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. We hope that these tips will increase your productivity within the Autodesk Revit environment.